Hello everybody, this is part one of a two-part aim analysis video series designed for drivers who enter races with high car counts. This video is based upon recent experiences of Watkins Glen in the Chump Card World Series race, where there are over 100 cars on track. The challenge of data analysis at a race with so many cars on track is that a perfect clean lap is very difficult to achieve based on how much traffic there is. With a high probability of passing or being passed multiple times in any given lap, Finding a true representation of a driver's performance is difficult, let alone using that data to compare against other drivers and finding relevant insights. This video is designed to provide a few ways of looking at data and finding meaningful data points for driver improvement. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is open up the AIM uh, Race Studio Analysis software and look at the data. Now I've already downloaded the data from my solo, uh, labeled it up, you can see it listed here. Uh, if you don't know how to do that or any of the other stuff that I reference, such as a GPS lap insert or setting up your measures graph, I've put a, uh, links to videos that I've already prepared in the annotation section so that you can go in and uh, find out more information going forward. But what we're going to move forward with is knowing that the data you've got is already set up and you already have uh, the view of your data. So I've highlighted my lap time and Jeff's. I already have uh, permission from Jeff to be able to use his video, uh, use his data for this video. So we're going to open up. Uh, both those tests. And so you can see that what happened is, is the lap managers there, this shows all the laps. Uh, this was my session uh, in the car at Watkins Glen, and this is Jeff's. And uh, what I've also done is we've gone in here and disabled the first and last lap to make sure we don't have any erroneous information uh, in the system. So um, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go to the measures graph, which is going to show us certain amounts of information. We're going to see speed at the top of the car at any given point on track. We're going to see GPS longitudinal, which I've actually set up. This is my personal preference in terms of a view for the AIM solo because down means deceleration, and when the line goes up, that means acceleration. And then the last thing is a time distance graph, which is if the red line is the farthest, uh, fastest, the further away the blue line is from the red line, the slower it is over that single lap that's being viewed. So that's the setup that we're going to use. Now the problem is, and you can already see this uh, on the chart uh, from one particular point, and I'll show that in just a second, that uh, you're never going to have a true depiction of how well one driver is doing over another sometimes based upon just how much traffic there is uh, over a single lap. Being passed and passing could happen 5, 10, 15 plus times uh, in any given lap. And you can see this on this lap time here that the red line starts to accelerate very nicely uh, out of turn one. Uh, but then all of a sudden the acceleration actually slows to almost slows down uh, the rate of acceleration and then speeds up again, which would in indicate at this point that uh, the red car was actually passing uh, a slower car as it went up through the S's or actually got stuck behind uh, a slightly slower car until such time as it could pass as it was going up out of the uphill S's and we'll actually show that as we go through. So how do we do that? And so this is part one. We'll actually look at the analysis a bit later on but we're actually going to set it up so we can start seeing some of that data. So the first thing we need to do is to answer that question you probably all thought which is how do you know this is coming out of turn one? So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a map. So we're going to go to the map in the top part of the uh, software right here, and we're going to click on New. And you can see that it's going to take the fastest lap, and it's actually going to show you a GPS overlay, which we can all see. That's Watkins Glen. But one of the problems that we have with AIM is the fact that it will set up um, multiple sections, which it believes that uh, a green area is a straight, um, a red is a right-hand turn and a blue is a left-hand turn. But if this was just sectors that you'd had to analyze, I'd probably say there's 12, 15 different sectors on this track. And I don't know about you, but that's very difficult to remember what you were doing or how you were doing it uh, or where you're going to find improvement if you tried to remember 15 different parts of a section on track. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove them all. And now we have absolutely sort of like a bear track. This is just one total section of a lap, which doesn't tell us anything. So what I'd like to do is I'm actually going to start by creating probably five or six different sectors that will allow us to be able to see how well this person or any person is doing on the track. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to take from start finish to the point of braking uh, as you come from through turn one and through uh, the S's. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to point where I actually want to divide the track and click on divide. That's created my sector one. Then I'm going to say, OK, I want to see through the bus stop and I want to see to the point of going through the carousel before you break um, as you enter into uh, the boot on the track. And you can see that's right here. So again, I'm just going to click on divide. And so that's created another section. But right now it's red. That's a bit of a nuisance. So we're going to click anywhere in that sector 
and we're just going to change that to uh, blue. We can do that by clicking on these variables here. Now this is the straight left right that AIM uses, but for the purposes of what we're using, we'll just call this the blue section. As we go around, we're going into the, um, the, uh, uh, the start of the boot as we get in here. So we say, okay, I want to actually divide the track here before I get to the heel of the boot. This is a very important corner, so I'm going to click on divide. That turns out red, going through the heel of the boot. We'll actually make that one there. Uh, divide that again, and we'll probably click on that and make that blue this time. You can see I'm changing the color with this button here. And then I want to see coming out of the boot here, which I'm going to break down here. I'm going to click on divide there. And I created one section, and then this is our last section, which I'm actually going to make blue again. So we have here now one, two, three, four, five, six segments. And so we're going to call it whatever we want. We're going to say uh, Watkins Glen, and we're going to go six segments. You can call it whatever you want to be able to put in there. So what this is going to do now is this is going to set the map up to be able to show those segments um, on the uh, measures graph. And so to be able to see those, again, it'd be nice if they put the map up here, but across uh, on the right hand side here says so show track map and there you are those are the segments we set up just shows us here so now I know following that cross and following the map that going up through the S's here we found ourselves in a situation where the red lap actually slowed down very useful information helps us start identifying who's doing what at which particular segment but it doesn't help us when we're trying to analyze all the traffic's on track the way we're going to do that is actually create and look at a different part of the track um, which we'll analyze in part two, which is actually what they call the split times analysis. And so up at the top here, you've got this button here. I'm going to click on that. And that's going to take these segments of all of Jeff's laps, and you can see mine here of all of my laps here. And it's going to say, based on these five segments on the track, where were you fastest? Who did well at which particular point? So because we've got six sectors here, we're going to open them up. And if we open them up this way, we can see, I'm just going to move the map down here for the time being that uh, in this model, the little red blob is the fastest of those segments. So as we look at it from that point of view, we can see that not in any single lap did Jeff in this instance have his fastest of those two sectors, of those six sectors, I should say, which is where we're going to start looking at analyzing that going forward. And so this is the first part of the video that we want to be able to have a look at. And as we go into part two, what we're going to do is we're going to start looking at analyzing this data and trying to determine how best we can actually make the most of this to find improvement in driver time overall. And so uh, that's it for this video and look out for part two.